Good evening. I am Sarah Rep, and I'm reporting from the SMC News Desk. Salina police have identified a woman who was found dead in a park as a 43 year old local resident. News reports said police have not yet said how Christy Fisher died and are still gathering information about her death. Police responding to a report early on Tuesday morning found Fisher lying face down near the south entrance of Lakewood Park. She was declared dead at the scene and that's all the information we have on this story at this time. The Salina police are also investigating after staff discovered an individual had taken a large container of hand sanitizer and dumped it on the walls and floors of Salina South High School. The estimated damages are over $7,200 after the sanitizer ate through the finish on the floor. Surveillance video is currently being reviewed and that is all the information we have. Salina OCCK's Inc. has announced that they will be raising their minimum wage to $15 an hour. This change will affect over 160 individuals that are currently being employed by the organization. 17-year-old twin sisters were transported to Salina Regional Hospital on Thursday night with non-life-threatening injuries after their 2011 Chrysler collided with a light pole at the entrance of southeast of Saline High School. The driver was cited for making an improper turn. Saline County Sheriff's deputies were working on a fatal crash as of Friday morning on Old U.S. Highway 81 near Don Meyer Road. There are very few details at this time, but we do know that the crash involved a motorcyclist and a truck. The male motorcycle rider has, been has not yet been identified, but has been killed. In state news, we're going to look at how authorities say a search team has pulled the body of a man from a lake in northeastern Kansas. After nearly 10 hours of searching, the Riley County Police Department says that the man's body was found late on Wednesday in Tuttle Creek Lake. Authorities were called to the lake at around 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday after someone found a vehicle and clothes near the shoreline. The man was identified Friday as a 24-year-old Okeem Riley, and Fort Riley officials say that Riley was a first lieutenant from one of their brigades and had served at the fort since 2018. Foul play is not suspected in this death. Authorities in Rice County have identified the man killed in a house explosion last month in the town of Lyons. The victim was identified on Thursday as a 65-year-old Terry Sawyers. Firefighters responded to the home on May 27th, and the fire chief says that Sawyers was found dead in the home where he had lived for 10 to 12 years. The cause of the explosion has not yet been determined, but Lyons Police Sergeant Corey Ryan says that there was no crime. Results of an autopsy of Sawyers are expected to be coming out in July. We'll have some more information about it for you then. A Wichita man is dead after he became pinned underwater by an overturned riding lawnmower. Authorities say that the 42-year-old died after an accident on Wednesday afternoon in the city's east side. The man was mowing a residential property when the mower slid into the lake and pinned him. Witnesses told police that the man was submerged for about 10 minutes before first responders were able to find him. Medics pulled him from the water and performed CPR, but they were unable to revive him. And police say that he worked for a lawn service. A Sedgwick County Sheriff's deputy has been suspended following his arrest over this weekend on suspicion of a misdemeanor domestic violence disorderly conduct. The Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office says that Deputy Clayton Blackwood was arrested on Saturday, stemming from an incident involving Blackwood's domestic partner. Records show that the woman involved also was arrested, and authorities say that Blackwood has been with the Sedgwick Department for five years. He was suspended without pay pending the outcome of criminal and internal investigations. 
And now we're going to take a look at our three day weather forecast. Tonight it's going to be clear with a low around 65 degrees. There's going to be a south wind with gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. On Saturday, it's going to be sunny with a high near 89 degrees. A south wind of 10 to 16 miles per hour and gusts will get as high as 24 miles per hour. On Saturday night, it's looking like it will be mostly clear with a low around 66 degrees. The south to southeast wind of 10 to 14 miles per hour may get as high as 21 miles per hour with those gusts. And on Sunday, it'll be mostly sunny with a high near 87 degrees. The south wind of 9 to 14 miles per hour could also have gusts as high as 22 miles per hour. On Sunday night, it looks like it'll be partly cloudy with a low around 67 degrees. It'll be a south wind of 8 to 13 miles per hour. Then on Monday, mostly sunny with a high near 88 degrees. I'm Sarah Rupp signing off from the SMC News Desk and I'm wishing you a good evening.